You are listening to the Earplug Podcast Network, a Fanboys Inc. production. If you're passionate for what you love and you're serious about it, when you see our cameras at the show, then we want to talk about it. Farewell the fans need not apply, we seek nerds that are true. Jar Jar Jeremy and Lewis Perry of the Angry Geek Show. Give a big round of hand for for Jeremy. No, no, for hello, that hell of a Wonder Woman, oh, Jamie Dolan. Yeah. Why don't you come back up here? Why come back up here? Come on, you got room. And we want to introduce one other special person that's here from the Earplug Podcast Network, the one and only DW. You got to come up here, brother. You support us. He's on our. Wow, it's hot. It I'm is. In front of You're gonna sit in front can of one. Can I dress like I'm reading comics? No, no. If you guys follow our Instagram page, you know that Jeremy reviews comics. Do I have to sit next in to Jeremy? Bus. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. My, my microphone's not on. Yes, it's. That's it's on reason. purpose. It's on. Does trying mine to... work? Hello. Yes, it does. That's okay. You can all hear me, right? Hello. No. Okay. Anyway, we got a big show planned for you guys today. Technical we got. Guy. The one all you need is pe- the button uh, there, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got button. Today, is, like today must be his first day, right? Yeah, it is. We have, from DC Comics, Blue Devil, Blue Beetle, one of my personal favorites. Weird Paris weird. Collins is going to be with us up here. Yes. And we got that other guy, Tommy. Tom Hebert, he's going to be up here. So let's bring these guys up here right now. Where are you going to put them? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, where are you going to put them? Stay I don't right know. there. I don't <laughs> no, come on. He was smart. He I sat in a chair. Up. Oh, you want to stand up? All right, come on. You guys come up here. You guys sit. What? Hold on, she's supposed to be up here for the first thing. Oh, no, we're going to do that last. I can talk What do you mean last? We have to do that first. No, we're going to get rid of these guys. These guys are important. Oh. Yes. What are you talking about? I didn't see anybody at their tables. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, Paris. I love you, man. the other way. It, what is this? Free, free phone service? <laughs> Your clothes are falling. <laughs> Your clothes are falling. No, you're not Jeremy. Your clothes are not falling off. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Angry Geek Show. And thanks for all coming, because like, yes. I was not expecting you all to show up. Yeah. Free stuff really gets you in here. <laughs> it works for me. Well, what do you mean it works I didn't get you? any free stuff. I came in I, to I get got out of the rain. Yeah, I know you did. Um, I don't need the bus. I have a quick question for Paris before we start. Why blue? Everything you're associated with. Blue Beetle, one of my Am favorites. Blue, blue Devil, blue. one of my definite favorites. Why blue? I, I don't think it's actually the color. I think it has to do with the... Uh, Steve Dicko decided not to do it and then them giving it to me. It's like a secondhand Steve Dicko. He was supposed to do the blue devil. That and, sounds uh, like a nice hand me down. And he said, I don't want anybody who jumps around. I don't want anybody who does something funny. And I don't want anybody who has ca- sarcasm and, and, and extra muscles. So I don't want to do it. Really? <laughs> he said, and they said, uh, hey, Paris, you want to do it? And I said, sure. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, crisis came in and uh, blue. Beetle walked across the river and saved the uh, Statue of Liberty, and they went berserk, and 300 letters came in, and they said, somebody's got to do it to do it right now. Hey, Steve, would you like to do it again? No. <laughs> he said, Paris, would you like to do it? Sure. So that happened. All right, one other quick question for you before we get started, before we get to <laughs> yeah, you, Yeah, let's sir. skip John altogether. <laughs> no, 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 no. When, I think it was season... You don't want me angry. <laughs> season two, Arrow. I was Not many people... No, you weren't. Not many people know this, but up on a movie screen, it said Blue Devil. How did you, you must, did you know about that? I rolled on the floor and started laughing. I I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, they referenced the Blue Devil. That was amazing. Look at DW going, Lewis, your comics are like bizarre. No, no, that's real geek (laughs) though, man. In the flash, everything comes out of court industry. What are you doing? Yeah. Is that your list? Yes. (laughs) No? Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. All right, sir, Let's now on, on to John, you. I mean, 
Marvel, Marvel Comics. Yeah. What did you work what? on? <laughs> Look, work? He knows everything about Paris, but John, what did you work no, on? Nobody knows who I am. I'm, all, the, form, I'm is, the former artist known as John Hebert. I'm a forgotten commodity. Here. All I know is John I, is one hell of a guy, has a great sense of humor. Really? We had, yeah, we had you on the show once before. And, so uh, you thought he was joking when he told you to get that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. So anyway, what, what can you tell us about you? What did you like? To, what was your highlight? Did well, you uh, I like uh, long, slow walks and <laughs> <laughs> Asia music. Uh, you know, Asia. Uh, <laughs> Camaros. Camaros. <laughs> That's a nice mix, John. I like to be held. Um, <laughs> I used to draw for Marvel until they ran me out of the business. Now I work for the state just up the hill from here, so I am a local guy. <laughs> Um, I did Punisher, I did X-Men, I did Johnny Quest, Sable, Mars Attacks, a little bit of Spider-Man, a little bit of Captain America. Always wanted to go over to DC. I admire you very much. Um, I was supposed to write we your Batman book, stars. but that went away. No. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's saved for people who trace now. Oh, was that out loud? I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. We had a whole show about that. We had to censor it because L of the Let artist. me just tell you something. No names, but there's a guy out there to this day who, when they say, how'd you get your break? My mother caught me drawing Batman and Robin on the wall. That was me. He heard me tell that no. story, and now he makes that his own. Po really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No wow. names. I'll Jeremy tell you later. Gordon. Okay, now let's get to our first topic. Uh, <laughs> Storylines that we would like to see it made into an animated movie. I mean, we, we all have favorite storylines in comics, right, Joey DiCarlo from Soul <laughs> Wizard Podcast? You have a favorite, right? We all have favorites. So, Jeremy, why don't so, you start? And we so Wizard Podcast is here? Yes. Oh, my God, it's Joey the Carol. I'm such a fan. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, Jeremy. I get to start? Okay. Yeah, you get to okay, start. Okay, my top five. Uh, oh, the Scroll War. Scroll, Scroll War. Nice. Good one. Mm, for nice. real. I, I started reading comics during uh, Fantastic Four and the Scroll and everything. And, like, I know most people are like, Fantastic Four. Ugh. But, like, I, I dug it. And, like, you know, Miss Marvel became a thing. And everybody was a thing. And thing, things, and Scrolls uh, were. DW, cool. what about you? What, what would you like to see? Well, one of them's already being made, and that's the death of Superman. Nice, yeah. yes. So that's okay. that's really cool. Got to um, do it right. Excited for that. Hopefully, they'll change the. I saw some of the animation. I'm still not happy with the non Bruce Tim. It's I, I'm not a manga fan. Really? So it's yeah. when they did Justice League War, it was like one one scene Aquaman's head really really okay. little, and then one scene his head's like this big. It well. just didn't make any sense. <laughs> but, Nobody likes for Aquaman. Um, anyway. For something hey. that's not being he made. He must draw for image. Oh I, yeah, uh, <laughs> Days of Future Past I think would be awesome as animated, and maybe Ooh. they'd get it right this time. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Paris, what would you like to see? Oh man. <laughs> Just pick oh, one right I see now. he prepared. All, all no, uh, that uh, whole new God's collection. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Right. yes. Yes. I thought I, I was like going to be the only one old school right. up here. Really? We're going for classics. <laughs> yeah. yeah if you're going right. classic, definitely. Like what do you that. want, John? I'll start with the Moon Knight Hatchet Man storyline. Does anybody Ooh. remember that, or am I too? No, no. It was only two that. issues, well, two and a half issues, but that's, that thing that's was obscure, obscure, but I like that. I like that. Here. That was a good story. Yeah, yeah, good art. Just, I, yeah. I want to see, like, in Lord of the Rings style, right, as many movies as they could put together, but Crisis. Yep. With the death oh, of Supergirl. Yeah, Dude, the just yeah. imagine that. Yeah. I mean, just keep it going, like, one set after that's one That's a three-hour animated movie. Exactly. That's, that's why I said Lord Four. of the Rings style. Yeah, yeah exactly. That would, be, that would be great. Jeremy, next. Well, I'm sticking with Marvel, and I'm going to go Secret Wars. Oh. The original? Oh, the original. Yeah, no, part not two. Come part on. Two. Nobody wants Secret Wars 2 or 3. <laughs> there was a third? Not even Mike Zek wanted that. For real. <laughs> 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 Eventual Kimmy costume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, DW. I'm going to stick with X-Men. I want to see the Jean Grey saga. Nice. I mean, I know we're putting oh, the Phoenix oh, yeah. saga. Yeah, I know yeah. it's, once That's again, it's a movie. That's where I we were going with the movies. Like, I and I, yeah. They, like, they, at well, the end of it's called so reshoots, and oh. suits don't like what they want to say. So. <sighs> exactly. But I, I think anything with the X-Men, I mean, when we did, what, the 92, 93 animated series oh, was, was really fantastic. great. Um, I think they need to do more of that. Paris? Well, I'm sticking with this. Sounds like a poker game. Here. <laughs> yeah. I'm sticking with Kirby, and uh, oh, I would man. like to see the last uh, oh. 20 episodes of Commandy. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Oh, man. That's still one of my favorite comic book series. Yeah, I have that whole series. Ben and Rizzy and fighting. <laughs> uh, yes. Kids out here, take notes. These are great, great comic stories, especially when he brought up New Gods. Yes. 
come on, need another one, and it's very inexpensive. Sadly, yeah. it's an inexpensive collection to buy. Yeah. I always thought it was a great ones, what, what, 20 bucks? Yeah, if that, if the that. The New Gods were inexpensive until they started talking about the goddamn movie. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Tom, yeah. next. Like five issues left. <laughs> All right, let's go to another classic. First issue of Spider-Man I ever bought, number 100. Spidey grows oh, extra arms, Ooh. fights the lizard, and introduces Morbius. Three oh, part yeah. of that would be great. Yeah. Moody as hell, great art, great story. It was that fun. That would be good. I like yeah. That. Gil Kane. That, yeah. 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 Gil now, Kane. fans of the show are going to be like really shocked, and I know DW is going to be shocked, and a couple of you guys out there are going to be shocked, because you guys know I bleed DC. Oh, my God. Are you going Marvel? I am going Marvel. It's got to be Craven's The Last Hunt, man. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, right. Seeing Mike that. Zachary. Reference. Exactly. My boy. Dude, nerd that, alert. Nerd alert. Hey, that where would be going? the most epic animated film of all time. Especially it, they have to do it like the comic. They can't they can't do it any other way. They have to do it, especially with that splash scene at the end with just a the casket. They have to do it that way. What about Soul of the Hunter? Ooh, ooh, Which one? Yeah. You know, somebody in this room actually ghosted a big part of that book. Oh? Did you know that? Wow. Really? Ooh. Yeah. I'm wearing his underwear. No. <laughs> Jeremy, next. <laughs> uh, next, still going to be inside Marvel, okay. um, the Infinity Gauntlet. The real Infinity the Gauntlet. Inf the real Infinity the real Gauntlet. Infi not what you can find I mean, a replica of that I'm, at the I'm Earplug Podcast Infinity Network's booth. More, but I want the original Infinity Gauntlet, Silver Surfer, everything. I, I want that. I want it. And get Tom Thanos Vincent to my color it. favorite Marvel villain, and I'm just like, oh. All right, before we get to DW, Jeremy, let's pick somebody out in the audience oh, to yeah. give some stuff away. Actually, Jamie, pick somebody in the audience. Let's go with... Oh, yeah, I forgot she was here, too. <laughs> nice. She's the quiet one. Go with who? Ray. 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 The Ray. Animated oh, that Ray. Comic. Ray. Uh, nice. Nice. What would you like to see made into an animated movie? The new Star Wars. Oh, comics. God. We already said the new gods. <laughs> That's George Burns. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gotta earn it. Ray, hold on. Do 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 do. Come on, anything, anything. How about the new Star Wars comic books? Darth Vader one through twenty-five was really good. <laughs> yeah, good answer. All right, Jeremy, pick something out. They get something. I'm not gonna throw because there's a lot of people like. Yes, we usually get in trouble for throwing things. Well, Jeremy does. All right, DW, next. I might need some help on, with John with this one because I don't know the number, but it was a Spider-Man story with J Jonah Jameson's son comes back from the moon ah. with the moon rock oh. and, and then becomes the moon wolf. The moon wolf for, so that storyline for me caught me, and it was great to see the, that they used J. Jonah Jameson's son as a secondary character, but that character stayed around for a while. That was like 140, 130, 140, and it was the transition when it went from Gil Kane to yeah. Ross Andrews. Yes, right. yes. Um, and that I have the original album and book, the audio, the, the, the vinyl power record. Yeah, yeah the I power have, record. They yeah, cut it into That's one book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still had the Batman once in that Paris. <laughs> Terry Inks, over in New York. Oh my God! I was trying to think of uh, the one I liked the uh, best because I'm my actually uh, uh, at Marvel's uh, my my biggest what the uh, hell is he favorite doing? character is Captain America, and I liked the one I think it was uh, Friedrich and Steve Englehart. When uh, Captain America got uh, uh, kidnapped and taken by the Captain America 1950s. Oh, that's well, cool. Nice. That really okay. Nice. That's right. That was a uh, that's that was my Marvel pick thing. I love that one. Tom. Yeah. Next. I've got a real good transition from that because I go right in with mine to the cap quitting over the scandal Ooh, with the president and become a no man, man, which was no right man. Yes. Right after. Still Steve Engelhardt. That's right. Yeah. That was a great run. That, and it was multiple issues. That would make a great animated movie. Now, this is a cool one. Now, wait, but hold on. What do you think about maybe too political, John, at this point? Ooh. I think it's actually more appropriate <laughs> more now. More relevant yeah. now? Yeah, you think? The times would be perfect. It might be perfect timing for that. Especially with the suicide. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah. oh wow. <laughs> Wow. Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? Too soon? <laughs> what about the original Batman Predator? Oh, that was good. Dude. Oh, wow. Huh? Batman Predator, the That's first. The format for that. Yes, the first miniseries would be incredible. I wish I went with a crossover. Now we're That's going with crossover. Cool. Care. Wow, yeah, you're, like, you're pulling strings on that one. I don't know. Oh, wait till you hear my work. number one, baby. Wait till you hear my number one. Jeremy? Kingdom Come. 
Alex Ross. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. I forgot all about yeah, that. They do Amazing. it justice with the animation. That's oh, uh, that's true. Like Alex Ross's art. It, like I have a blanket with all the heroes and the villains on it, and it's. His art is just amazing. Like uh, I, wish. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Bruce Tim artwork for that. that you, you, that's your, that's your that's favorite my thing, though. Yeah. But I think that would you can't do something. Uh, I don't want to say stylized and be, compete with Alex Ross, yeah. but you can turn it around and make it retro with Bruce Tim's That's artwork, true. and I think it would be awesome. Yeah, because okay. if you're not gonna like go, you can't distance, compete with Alex Ross. Well, yeah. you know. um, Jamie, I'm gonna, gonna go, go live action. Huh? Pick somebody. Oh. Let's go with the kitty cat ears. What? Okay, <laughs> there you are. Nice. Meow. Right hey. meow. Right meow. Yeah. No, no. What? Meow. <laughs> huh? <laughs> meow, I don't meow. speak Jeremy. What? Meow meow. You got to, what's meow, your meow. comic do you want to see into a movie? Um, nobody knows about this, but Warrior Cats, the mangas. Oh. Oh, the Warrior Cats. I've heard of that. That's yeah. cool. Got an anime yeah. fan in the back. Yes, sir. Have... Okay, come here. We got some posters for you. Uh, one at a time <laughs> in a toy, you fool. <laughs> wow. Look at her stockings. They're oh cats. Gosh. Okay, that explains the meow. Paris? No. <laughs> How many posters did you give her? A handful that so we don't have to bring them home. Now I feel like I skimped out on the other people. <laughs> <laughs> now that you brought up uh, crossovers, uh, the one and only uh, Walt Simonson and uh, Frank Miller, what is it, uh, Robo, uh, uh, oh. Robocop? Oh, and the oh. Robocop, yes. oh yes. my God, oh my yes. God, yes. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than no. I see it animated. I can't even walk away from uh, the thought. The, uh, the dialogue is just perfect. Walt's artwork would work well animated. The That's way right. he did that storyline, yeah, definitely. Tom? I'm going to go with something a little more esoteric and obscure. What's Europe? that word? Yep. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's it tiramisu? <laughs> tiramisu. <laughs> I like tiramisu. European comic by Paul Jalan called La Survivant. It was reprinted partially in this country 25 years ago called The Survivor. It's for a, a slightly more uh, mature audience or Jeremy's less up. mature like me. But it was Not really Jeremy. good. I'd like to see that. Mm -hmm. It'll never happen. There's more of a chance of me doing comics again than that coming out. Ooh. But I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, your turn. <laughs> the breaking of the bat. Oh. oh. The whole thing, though. I'm talking about from everything. I mean, all the way from Bane breaking everyone out of Gotham, Batman being run down, talking, make it rated R, not like the killing joke where they screw that up. I mean, just like the <laughs> that. That was horrible. I know. And creepy. That was I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm creepy. <laughs> <and that creeped laughs> I'm talking, they need to do it like the comic. and go. Uh, the novelization was, was just beautiful. They need to do that. All the way straight through. I think that'll yeah. it'll be great. But not now. Just end it with Batman being broken. You know, they really did. Yeah. It. They did it better in Batman Beyond mm -hmm. than they did it in yeah. the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by Beyond far. The cartoon, uh, yeah. He, Robin was broke. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, you're number right. one. Uh, hold on a minute. You skipped me. Oh, oh, we skipped him. You skipped me. Oh, I'm sorry. So you get two. that's the boss too. Sorry. Remember, I'm the boss. <laughs> yes, I, I, I get a poster. Thanks. I'm the boss of this network here. What are you doing? Okay. Um, I do uh, Age of Apocalypse. Ooh, oh, yeah, yes. good. That storyline nice. was, uh, or Inferno, X Men Inferno storyline was great, but yep. Age of Apocalypse really grabbed me, and I hadn't been grabbed in a long time by a Marvel comic, and that storyline was really cool. Well, the I view love massacre. Seeing, would be awesome. seeing the characters different than what we normally see them in the in the regular universe, so I think that would be awesome. Yeah. The movie just didn't do it justice. Yeah, yeah. New Massacre would be great too, but it's not <laughs> on my list. Paris. What about uh, me? You skipped oh. me now. See, now you're skipping Jeremy. Right, okay, so I'm you get a poster. And throw out two of them for this last one because I, I just thought of it as we we're sitting here talking. But metal was on my list because I'm uh, loving metal and what's I know. That's how I feel. Modern, very modern. But the death of Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh my God, like great that. one. Yeah. It but, would be amazing. Yeah, but if that you do that, you gotta do war. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yep. Def yes, you have to. <laughs> Him. 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 Yeah, you definitely. I agree. What about him? So. What about him? Let's, let's hope we see him in the movies, Who's too. Who's reading metal? Who read metal? Here, come here. It's for you. Yes. <laughs> John, okay. Why, John, why, why'd you give a face about metal? Don't like it. Don't really? Don't like bad man, yeah. No? Character I love, they, I think they've ruined him. I, you know what, though? I don't mind it. I consider it an Elseworlds. Okay. I mean, I don't see it as canon. I, I okay. mean, it may be, but I just that. I take it as an Elseworlds storyline. DC's that. always done really well with their Elseworlds, just like Marvel's What If. But yeah, I, I used to love that book too. Yeah. All right, so I don't go out of line. Paris. 
Uh, back to DC and the, the first and last issues of uh, OMAC by Jack Kirby. Oh, nice. Man, you're really pulling off some good ones. Nice. Oh my God, I man. forgot all about that. You know, those. I got. No, I got we should know, just. And OMAC was awesome. A studio and, and like and do all these. I know. <laughs> One studio, Madhouse. Can you guys animate? The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the same guys that did the Highlander and. Yep. Ooh, you know, Paris, I got yeah. issue three of OMAC autographed by Kirby. Who? Yep. Moly. That's no. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That is I, pretty I cool. If whole, you leave, you can't I bought a whole win. Issue, I bought a whole issue of, uh, of Commandy when it was uh, Jack was getting rid of his collections, and he sold uh, all the Commandies all at once for $500, 21 pages. You know, died, it all turned into something else, and I'm still not letting it out of my hands. Nice. Mm. Johnson. Awesome. Okay. Peace to God. <laughs> Let's go straight canon on the Batman. Oh. A good one perfect length for an animated series. The Steve Englehart, Marshall Rogers run from the late 70s. Oh, nice. Dead shot, the whole nine Silver yards. Silver St. Cloud. Man, yeah. Silver St. Cloud, Hugo yeah. Strange. Yes, sir. I Marshall Rogers. Marshall. Yeah. Marshall. Good friend of mine, great artist. Just, just class act. There you go. All right, now my last one is only because of one special thing. I'm going to say the Marvel. DC crossover Ooh. just so I can see mm. Superman beat the crap out of the Hulk for real. Well, you, you, love, you love you love making the, you love making those choices that it'll never happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But I, you know, we all know, Joey, that Superman will defeat the Hulk, and I just want proof that everyone can look at it and see it. Let him drop the mountain on and be done with it. <laughs> I don't know. And about Aquaman that. dropping a big whale on some manner would be great too. <laughs> some things to me only matter if you could actually make it look like the artist's work and their intentions in the work. Like uh, Herb Trimpey doing the Hulk during the Hulkbuster series. Mm -hmm. And there's the Wolverine, there's the you know the, the Devastator and everything else that. Uh, man, yes. But you got those big, you got that big mouth with those crazy teeth and a little drool of, sli uh, drool of saliva <laughs> happening every time you scream. That was so perfect. It was so cartoony. And everybody in Herb's run at that point, yes. everybody was big. The Hulk yeah, was big. Yeah, yeah, everybody was big, yeah. Hammer and Anvil, remember? Yeah. They looked huge. It, no, it was the steroids man's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Vince McMahon's dream. You Vince name it, they McMahon's all showed dream. up at the door. They all had muscles coming out of their neck. <laughs> And they were all slick looking. They all had the gleam lines. All right, Jamie, pick somebody. The Batman family. The Batman family. Batman family. That's all you? Any right there? You guys. Uh, second row. Come on. We read comic books. Da -na 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 -na. That's good. Okay, so Can pick something. Stuff? I got some. <coughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Mom? No. What the hell? <laughs> I feel as though we're in a we're in a college comedy now. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go on, pick something. <laughs> how, how about um? No, no, don't. Oh no 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 no! We're get, well, you're gonna you're gonna say uh, the the um. What are they gonna say? The Return of Gargamel from the Smurfs. I don't care. Go, pick something. <laughs> Twilight Empire by John Haber. There you go. Twilight Empire. Come up here. By John Haber. And you know what, Jeremy? I want to give Dad the Batmobile. All right. Ooh, because nice. Mom will Woo! collect nothing. I want to give him the Batmobile. All right, how about giving Paris, Tom, and DW a great big hand so we can get our next guest up here really quick. Guys, Woo! thank you for coming on. Plus, Hella needs right. to sit down. She needs a Hella seat. Bad, bad, bad. Bad is a winner, well, a bad, bad, bad. Bad is a winner, well, a bad, bad, bad. Well, a bad is a winner, well, a bad, bad, bad. And for our next guest, the real life Peter Griffin, straight from Quahog, Rhode Island. It took him about six days to get here. He already fought a chicken. Where is the chicken? Thank you. He's on the floor. He killed him. There he is. Dead chicken. He's at KFC. Wow. Now, this, this topic... It's a little odd. It's a little odd. First of all, Peter, how so are you? I. It's okay. Yes. How are you, Peter? I'm doing quite well. You know, uh, I'm, I'm kind of trying to survive because uh, it was a late night of drinking, as usual. Yeah, we, we <laughs> and, were waiting uh, for it. Happy you. International Beer Day, everyone. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything new? How's Lois? How's the family? Uh, Lois is doing quite well. You know, she's uh, dodging attacks from my youngest she's so on, the, on the daily. And, uh, you know, Chris so is still picking his bum. And uh, Meg is still a disappointment of the family. <laughs> 
So we picked a very special topic for you. Um, everyone get, gets those gifts at Christmas that are just... Huh? Huh? Right? You get something like, I'm sure, guy in the plaid shirt in the front. You, you got something odd for Christmas, like from the weird aunt that give you cat food or something like that. We all get that. Am, am I right or wrong? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Jeremy, what, what, what did you get for... Uh, well, my what, first present I brought with me... Uh, People know that I Wait a minute, you brought it with you? Yes, I brought it with me. Oh, God. People know Sorry, that I, I didn't know I needed props. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, totally I left one of them mine. in the car. Very sad about that wah, one. Wah. But uh, they, they like to, people, fans even like to hand me gifts. And, you know, I appreciate it, but I'm an inbox, mint inbox person. And also, I like to know what they're giving me. I have no idea what this is, but I'm sure it's a comic character. If anybody has any clue, I would love the name. Any clue? Any Ooh. clue? Look. What see? is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's a little action figure of a silver like, lady. I thought I you would it looks like, like this. my mom. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Mom's cool. I'd like to meet your mom <laughs> if she looks like this. <laughs> Give it back. Dude, P no, none for you, Higgins. You've had yours. All right. So, Pete, what you get? All right. The first thing on my list, uh, I, I got a bucket of eyeball bubble gum. It was, it was, it was, it was bubble gum balls that looked like eyeballs. And, and, and they were those kinds of gum that, like, you chew it for, like, two minutes and it immediately loses flavor. Like, it's sweet for about, about three bucket. seconds, and then, and then you just keep chewing it out of self-hate. So you got to hold it. You just it. spite it. It's like, you know, I got this. I'm going to make the best of it. And you just keep chewing it, and then it eventually becomes liquid. It breaks down. It, it, actually, the, the, it, it actually breaks down if you chew it too long. It's some weird ass gum. I don't know where they got it, and uh, it's prob it probably explains a lot of things about me later in life. I got probably. that early on. Probably, uh, Jamie. What you get? All right. So my boyfriend, our first year, I think it was together, gave me a pickle in a pouch. <laughs> Why? Subliminal? Is that? <laughs> no. I don't know. Some hidden I still. Giggity, giggity, you. All right. I still have it. It, it like doesn't have an expiration date, so. <laughs> Um, yeah. Right. Plaid shirt guy, I picked on you. What did you get? Uh, Hi, plaid shirt guy. Guys, these weird, like, ice block forming uh, things to make, like, igloos out of. What? So an ice cube tray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you Wonder Woman. Really? Wonder yes. Woman. Does this make up for the Jeremy, ice cube tray now? Too. That's my alter ego. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now this is bizarre, and this is true, and only in my life would this happen. I actually, just this past Christmas, got Superman Band-Aids. <laughs> I, I swear, I don't know why, but I got Superman Band-Aids. And the person that gave it to me is my wife's aunt, older aunt, and she had said, you're the easiest person to buy for. <laughs> Jeremy. Well, this, this present I left in the car, but I'm sure everybody's seen the infomercial for it. It's a shaky weight. You go, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, He's not lying. He's not lying. He had it in no, the car. No, no, it's, it's, uh, works out certain muscles. <laughs> yeah, sure Peter, what did you get, my friend? Uh, the second thing on my list here, let's see. Uh, I, I actually received fake poop once as a gift. <laughs> And I'm, I, at first I was flabbergasted because I, I didn't think that they sold fake poop. And, th and then it hit me that somebody actually spent money on fake poop. <laughs> and then they felt giving it to me was the best thing to do after that. So the, just the sequence of events was just quite strange. Jamie? <laughs> I got a spice organizer. Like, That's useful, at least. Yeah. <laughs> what am when I going to do with fake when poop? You, when you have like a I nice can make the real stuff every day. And you're like, oh, what is this? And then you're like... Oh, well, it's helpful, but thanks. Yeah. Okay. Looking for ways to spice up your life. There. Yeah. Again, you can't make this up. <laughs> Same aunt, but her boyfriend, for Christmas, shaving cream and Irish Spring soap in a bottle. With a coupon for a free Subway grinder. It's that a gift that keeps on I, giving. That, yes. That's what I got for Christmas. Again, open it up, flabbergasted. But, and, yeah, and I had to say thank you because what do you say when you, you know, Jeremy? Well, uh, I have a wonderful mother-in-law, and uh, <laughs> I love mixed nuts except for yes, one you do. Nut. I hate cashews. Hate them. 
but every year for 15 years, I've gotten a huge bag of cashews from her. Maybe she's trying to tell you something. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, and every time I go, oh, thanks. <sighs> so wonderful. Pete. Uh, next thing on my list, uh, I received an assortment of different types of jams from the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, and I'm like, what, what are we going to do with this? You know, I don't even eat that much toast. <laughs> I don't eat breakfast. What am I going to do with all this jam? The I'm stuck with all these jars. Has anybody like jam? Because I got like six jars at home. I don't, I don't even it's like, it's like pumpkin butter. It's always a weird crap. You you know, you know, it's never like jelly, so you can put it with peanut butter. No, it's like you autograph it and strip it out to somebody. I, sh I should have brought it with me. Uh, <laughs> hindsight's 2020. Damn it, Meg. <laughs> you okay over there? I'm fine. <laughs> Jamie. Mm, I'm running out of weird ones. I think it, it's not a weird gift, but my mom always gets me pajamas, but they're like 16 sizes too big every year. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and she lives in New Jersey, and I'm in New Hampshire, so she always wants pictures of me wearing these pajamas, and I, and I look like this little kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, that's a good one. I got Batman cologne. Hey, can you guys guess who gave it to me? You guys, come up and smell it. <laughs> it smells good. It smells like dead parents. Just like that. <laughs> you see what happened was. <laughs> It was buy one, get one free. So. It's called Who They Brood. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, man. Dude in the back right there. You. Not Freddy, not Freddy Krueger. Not you, Freddy. Freddy. you. The guy, yeah, in, front you. The guy no. in front of Freddy. Stand up next to Jason. You. Yeah, you. Yeah, yes, you. There you go. The gap what, hat. What is the weirdest thing that you ever got? <laughs> what do you think, Pete? Did, Did you get the mystery kit? I, I think so. I, I, All right, I come up there. We got come, something come for you. Come up here. Price. There you go. All it's right, a great now. thing to wear on your last day. Now, this right here has Christmas wrapping on it. The reason why is because it was underneath the tree with no tag on it. My wife and I don't know who it is, so Merry Christmas, it's yours. <laughs> we, we, don't know, we, don't, we don't know what this Whatever is. Whatever it is, we it's don't, yours. We don't claim responsibility for open the contents. Open it, open it. We don't you know have what to it open is. it. it was... Open it, open it, open it, open it. Get in front of the camera and open it. it. We don't know what it is. It was for a long time. Like it vibrated for a long time. <laughs> 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 Take a couple of books. I'm hungry. <laughs> Good. Babe, we got rid of it finally. <laughs> Jeremy. All right. Um, this is a really weird one. It's a, a heater for your steering wheel, but it has to plug in and it has wires, so you can't drive with it. So I'm really confused by it. Like, I'm sitting there, I was like, ah, oh. But it's from Sharper Image, so it's worth something. <laughs> you have to pay five dollars just to walk into that store. <laughs> <Pete. laughs> the next one I have here, I, I, I received a, a bootleg Batman doll when I was a kid that had one eyeball. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I love that Batman toy. You know? I, but 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 that thing was just weird, and you know, it, it's it's clearly like one of those fell off the truck Batman dolls. But <laughs> I love that thing, you know. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Jamie. Uh, I'm going to go with, I got one of those big inflatable workout exercise ball things. Oh, But I at like the time, I, I wasn't really working out. Oh. So <laughs> I was it like, was oh. Neither do I. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I did yoga today. It was just weird today. at the time because it was not really appropriate to anything in my life. I think it was a hint. <laughs> Tim Wiley, you work with the Angry Geeks quite often. Thank you for manning the door. Can you pick somebody in the audience to answer the next question, please, sir? Still here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the perfect gift for you. Go ahead. What do we got for her? The weirdest thing you got for Christmas. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, like the Bernie Bots every flavored beans? <laughs> oh, man, oh. we did that one night. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. <laughs> it was like a, like a vomit-flavored one. It was terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> that is horrible, horrible stuff. <laughs> All right, come up and see Jeremy. He's got something special for what you. What do I have for her? Those, okay. and give her some posters. Oh, okay. But she has to put those on. No. Yes. You have to wear them with the little hat and the oversized <laughs> glasses. <laughs> They totally go with the hat. They go perfect yeah. with the hat. <laughs> They'll put them on. Put them on and say hello to the fans. You got put put them on. Put them on. Put them on. You can sell them on eBay. Say they were worn by Jeremy Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm not the only person that got embarrassed today. <laughs> Pete. Oh, uh, my, my last uh, gift here on the list is uh, I, I received a bad coupon from a giant chicken. What? Uh -oh. You bastard! Uh -oh. You bastard! <laughs> oh damn! Oh damn! <laughs> Fully on the angry photo. Oh! KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> um. I don't know. <laughs> Go on to you, Lou. We're running low. All right. My, uh, I got the, the same people. It's just bizarre. I got shaving cream. Just, <laughs> just I thought we already did shaving cream. No, I, I wasn't. I slipped in a pile of shaving cream. <laughs> Be nice and clean. Shave uh, every day and you'll always look clean. All right. Let's pick one other person. Peter, you pick somebody. Uh, let's go with Super Nintendo guy over there. Super yeah. Nintendo guy. I got a kit to make your own loaf of beer bread. Ooh, that's great. Yeah, that actually sounds <laughs> No, yeah. You, you, I used to go to Target. They used to have these little I, bread mixes. You put like a bottle of beer in there and some beer bread. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, work. Food and beer. It's my favorite things all in one. Thank you. All right. Well, we want to thank Peter for being on with us. Make sure you stop upstairs and go to his booth and say hi. Get some pictures. Come by and say hi. And uh, don't take coupon from that, that, that chicken because they're expired. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to be right back with our next topic. Give Bye. Peter Bing in. Snoochie Boochie, so may the force be with you. Last topic, this and is, this is going to be a lot of audience participation. A lot. And it's just for Jeremy, Amanda Jamie, Huggins. and I. Romantic geek movies. Hello. Or just from movies that you think Hello. are romantic. Hello. And I'm actually going to hit up me? DW for this. He's, he's going to scream and answer. And we're going to hit up the guys from So Wizard Podcast, because they're going to answer too. But first, we're going to go with Jeremy. Jeremy, what is your number five geek movie? True Romance. Ooh, nice. Yeah, okay. I could dig that. It's, it's the guy runs a comic book shop, it, 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 and there's romance. <laughs> Jamie? I do not have a list. <laughs> Hold on. You don't know geek I, movies that make you go, um, ooh. No, I know geek movies. I don't know, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Joey DiCarlo, quickly. Uh, better off that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. I'm going to say The Empire Strikes Back. I know. What the hell are you laughing for? That is great, right, He's right? just clapping. Come up here. I'm going to give you some stuff. Actually, that little dude. Yeah, I got something for him. He yeah, yeah. Give him some. Come very here. Very excited. Come, come, come here. Come here. Come here. Woo. You like Iron Man? You Superman do now. Better, right? <laughs> Superman and is Mr. Better. Terrific. <laughs> Mr. Johnny, Terrific. Mr. You give it, that's mine. That's fair play. Fair play. Oh. Okay, Jeremy, next. next. Uh, da, da, where were they? Oh. My favorite movie of all time. Oh my goodness. The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride. As you wish. I was really saying, I love you. I, I've never seen it. As you wish. What? <laughs> you want to come over tonight? It. I've it's, never seen it. You, uh, oh my. And you she works for us. Go figure. What the? I Next weekend, after your appearance, you're coming over, we're watching it. It's like girly. No, you know what? Rose never seen it, it either, if, so you definitely got to stop over. It's not like being killed and. and Beat up. I don't no, watch the, it. no, there's, there's, there's yes. pirates. They're pirates. There's sword fights. There's, there's a giant. I mean, it's the best. And All right, Roman DW. And a true love. Quiet. What? True love. Shut up, Jerry. 
<laughs> I still didn't hear it. Chasing Amy, there you go. That's a great movie. I actually disagree. I Shut don't up. like that movie. I'm going to say Starman. Really? That's not bad at all. I like Starman. That was pretty How many people remember Starman? Raise your hand. Marcus, I can't give you a prize. You're a family. But that lady, we can give a prize for raising your hand. You want a prize? Come here. This prize is a kiss. No. <laughs> we got, uh, how about... How about, hold on, hold on, hold on. I what the hell are you doing? I Jamie, pick one. Of you. Actually, and, I thought of one. You thought of one. Oh, my Jesus. Here. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, yeah. Edward Scissorhands, that's great. <laughs> that's like my I've favorite I've run out movie. of stuff except for posters. <laughs> no, we got, we got that right there, too, I want to give away. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. My next, Back to the Future. Oh, that's good. What, hold what, on. Who's back to the Future what? is a love story, Tim Wiley. Yes, it is. You be Especially quiet. Especially part two when they Look, go to you, the Just because future. you're clapping again, little guy, doesn't mean you're getting another prize. <laughs> Jeremy? Uh, da, da, da. Warm bodies? I don't even know why I wrote that down. Actually, <laughs> warm bodies. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, DW. That's what I was thinking. Good it's a different channel. Who said that? that? Chris Norris? Anybody know what that movie is? Yeah, I... it's about the zombie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's why. Because Jesus. The, that's a real romance. The dude's a zombie and comes back from being a zombie and he has the girl, the girl. Okay, Jamie, and they next. They go onto the airplane. It's fantastic. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Jamie. Can I say, like, the corpse bride? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's yeah, pick. Okay. Tim Wiley, pick somebody in the audience, please. You like our um, Ed McMahon. I want to go with the girl on the way back with the glasses. There's two of you, so both of you, at the same time. But, Jeremy! I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Who? Weird science. Weird, what? Weird science. Oh, weird science, science. Yeah. You know, okay. Kelly LeBron. Yep. Give, LeBron. Up, give some stuff. Come up here, come get your prize. Um, I have this, and what do you have? Yeah. This? Yeah. Okay, come here. Ten things I hate about you. Who said that? About me. Oh, we'll give you a prize. Come up here. Why do you hate me? I mean, that's for you, too. No problem. All right. Not my next move. Okay, hurry up. E.T. E.T. That's my... Who laughed? I'm sorry, but, like... A lot of people that, that's, that's my, uh, uh, what's, what do you call it? Free pass? Hall pass? Something like that? Drew Barrymore? Can I give you some mm -hmm. posters? Really? I, I've loved and her look, since forever. Good. Although I'm not really fan, uh, too much of a fan of the Santa Clarita diet that yep. she's in. I, I like the rest of the show, but I'm not. Well, well really wait a minute. She's like 12 years old in that movie. So was I when I watched it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right. What's your, num what's He's your number? He's still like one? 12 years old in Yes, head. he is. Oh, my next <laughs> one? What? Yes. Uh, Edward Scissorhands. I said that. She said that. Okay. Legend. Oh. Oh, yeah. You want to go? <laughs> Jeremy? I'm Jamie. That, that's Jamie. Jamie? Jeremy. <laughs> I know we look alike. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. We're twins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Twinsies. What next? Um, I was going to say legend. Well, you can <laughs> say legend. <laughs> if you agree with him, that's fine. All right, legend now every part two. Now, I, love I can see a look I'm going to get from the boss over here. And I know he is going to laugh. And other people oh. are going to look at me. You know, I've actually had to lay in bed with him watching this. Rocky 2. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Rocky t Whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We, we did not. We, the hotel, we were booked for a con, doing our show. They gave us a little room with two beds, and we had the cameraman, and you weren't, thank God she wasn't with us. I was not. No. Really? And you were we, thanking God for that one? I was like, where's Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> and we only had two beds. It was a mess, and I had a panic attack, because, you know, I'll be honest, I do have panic attack. I go to therapy, and... Rocky calms me down, and it just happened to be on and there. And he sat there and did the entire script from beginning to end. All the parts, even... even it uh, was Rocky Balboa, too, the last one. Hey, yo. Mm. Rocky 2 makes me cry. I think you were at the house when it was on, and I walked in, and I was bawling my eyes out. <laughs> Rocky 2 makes me cry. It does, because everything that Rocky... I'm going to take that back. You keep laughing. <laughs> everything that he did, he did for Adrian. You know, he wasn't going to fight, so yo. he wasn't... Hey, yo, watch it. All right. Who said that? Why'd you say you that name? You got Why'd something. you say that? Oh, that was Martha. Sorry, Martha. <laughs> no, everything that Rocky did, he did for Adrian. He won for Adrian. He put himself through that. And that's, to me, Vivi, a romantic, romantic movie. Come here, Vivi. Anyhow, 
we are. I don't have anything cool anime or anything, but I got. Here some you cool go. We'll give you like some feature. posters. No. Uh, thank right, you. How about this one? This one you, has Jean Grey and Phoenix and Preacher. Look at you. Oh, okay. All right. Are we done? We're no. done. They gave it's us the time. It's time. for the uh, the raffle. Where's the box? What's in the box? Over there. I'll get it. I. This is your gig. You All can. All right. Now, the mega prize is a romantic dinner with me. Really? People Tim said not that? again. <laughs> All right. Everybody got the tickets? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me make sure that they're all in the same spot and nothing's underneath so I don't get miss anything. Hold on. Raven, you look very upset. <laughs> Here. Hold on. Give her a purple Who wrote? matches. That's what I did. <laughs> That's for Raven there, Mr. Man. I don't want to miss any. Make sure. Okay, good. Are you ready? And the winner is of the mega prize here at the Angry Geek Show. Okay. The number 879-0787. And the Red Hood wins. Woo. Too bad it's all girl yeah. stuff. No. Where's well, anyway, oh, thank you all for coming. Make sure you find us on the Earplug Podcast Network for our exclusive podcast there. You can find us on public access television, and you can find us on YouTube. Show everybody what the mega prize consisted of. And keep going, though. You can, and you can find this lovely lady next to us. Where can we find you? And that Wonder Woman on Facebook Street and Instagram. And, and weekly on The Angry Geek Fox. Show. You get to be thank you all for coming. We appreciate it. This has been an Earplug Podcast presentation found on EarplugPodcast.com, iTunes, SoundCloud, and wherever your favorite podcasts are found.